Yo, what's good? Big Z here, and today I'm gonna show you how to make this. The cool thing about this technique is you can apply that crazy wobble to any sound. Let's take a piano. Then let's reverse those chords to make it more interesting. Now let's add the crazy wobble effect. To do everything a piano could sound like that. Let's hear what it sounds like layered into the track. That layer adds a cool character to the sound and nobody listening would ever guess there's a piano playing there. One more quick example before I explain everything. Let's take this atmosphere sound. Now we'll add the effect. Listen to how amazing this layer sounds in the track. Anyway, this is my remake of a song called Together by Muramasa. Those extra layers I was adding were just for fun to show how cool this technique can be. To show you how I did it, let's take all the effects off these layers. So at a basic level, the sound is the result of an LFO modulating the cutoff of a filter like this. And you can adjust the rate of the LFO to get that cool wobble effect. But instead of using the LFO within the synth, we can use one on the channel strip and we can do a lot cooler things this way. I'm using the Cable Guys Filter Shaper plugin to do this, but you could use any plugin that allows you to use an LFO to affect the cutoff of a sound. The basic setup is pretty easy. I can draw in any shape that I want. And if I change the timing mode to Hertz, it'll give us more control. But where things really get interesting is all the automation that you can add. Watch what this smooth function can do to the LFO. I can also use this cutoff frequency to open or close the LFO. I can even automate this plugin so it changes back and forth between the different timing modes that way I can always get really precise wobbles. So using all those things, here's the automation that I drew in. It takes a lot of experimentation to get everything sounding right, but it's a lot of fun to mess around with. It also sounds really cool when you mess around with pitch bends when you're using this effect. And because you have the LFO on a channel strip, you can do things that you could never do using the LFO within your synth. I can add something random like a guitar amp before the LFO. And it still sounds really clean because that LFO is coming after that guitar amp. Another big benefit to doing it this way is what I showed you earlier in the video. You can take any random sound, like this violin, then we can just add a ton of reverb to it. Now we can bounce that to audio, and I can chop it up. Now we can just copy over the LFO plugin from a different track, and we can copy our automation settings over too. So you can literally do it to any sound in the world. So we have the effect on every layer of the track. Here's the bass. Here's a higher synth layer. And here's a cool pitch bending synth layer. So you put all those together and you get the finished product. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Peace.